you and I, we both have watched some videos on YouTube talking about some habits that make you weak. You watched a video about some guy telling you that you should do no fab, you should do this, this, this habit is breaking you, do this instead, blah, blah. F*** it all. We don't want to hear anyone say, do no fab, oh, do this habit, drink water. We don't want to hear that shit anymore. Today I'm gonna tell you something that will actually give your life that little sprinkle, that little seasoning that you need it. You see, it's getting warm now. Yeah. The body is slowly dying now. <laughs> <laughs> and you will catch yourself enjoying life and being like, holy shit, life feels good right now. Why does it feel good? It's gonna get f***ed soon. <laughs> yeah, that's what I used to do. Today I'm gonna give you eight weekly habits which you can do once a week. And my friend, I'm gonna tell you right now, your life will never be the same after doing these. I do most of them right now and I can tell you from experience. I'm a different person now. By the way, I hope you enjoyed the little Givenchy bottle right behind me. I wanted to give this scene a little personality <laughs> touch here and there. I'm currently working as a security guard. As you can tell, I'm working my ass off right now. I found a little window to record a video, so here it is. I brought my mic, my tripod, the camera with me. I got you everywhere, bro. <laughs> and I'm a little bit sick today, so my voice is gonna be all over the place, like right now. It's gonna be fun today, bro. But before we jump straight into these eight weekly habits, I need to tell you something. The message this video is going to give you, the core message, is to do something some weekly adventure every single week because my friend i've been that type of guy who was just grinding who was going to the gym who was recording working doing all these nice productive things i was that guy i got so good in these productive things that i attracted a very quality girl into my life but eventually she found out i do nothing with my life and she left when I was in the relationship with her, I was like, okay, I have a girl, I'm working, it's nice. The thing Andrew Tay talks about, like grind and blah, blah. The thing is, bro, that's very nice. But the reality is, I was distracted with sex, obviously. I was distracted with feminine energy, my work. And I realized when she left that my life is actually a f tragedy i don't go anywhere i don't do anything with my life by the way i should have been doing this the entire time but when she left i realized that life is meant to be lived i started to be a hiker a runner a traveler that's your girl that is your girl <laughs> i started to explore my city other cities my life suddenly had a little sprinkle i started exploring some new activities I started f***ing cold plunging every single morning. And some of you might be asking, it definitely has affected your work life, Lucas, hasn't it? Yes, it has, but in a positive way because I'm no longer just all day, every single day, behind my computer typing shit or in the warehouse doing some customer work. No, I'm doing that. But also I'm doing something which I enjoy. I no longer feel like I'm locked in the closet doing some f***ing work. No, right now I'm working my ass off. I'm building my future. But at the same time, I'm actually enjoying my life. Just a few weeks ago, I went on a hike with my brothers. We went to hike one of the highest mountains in Slovakia. That's where I live. And it was such an experience, bro. When we were descending the mountain, like going back into our car, we accidentally picked a route which is illegal to go because of not like natural reserve land or something like that. It was such an adventure, bro. And my life is so different. You can probably see it in my eyes, despite my <laughs> eye bags from the f sickness yeah enough of yapping let me go over these eight weekly habits which will change your life so the first weekly habit i do every single day i revealed it to you already i do an ice day you've definitely heard people talking about cold showers cold plunges even ice plunges the truth behind this is actually so beneficial to your brain and to your body also i need to tell you this my legs were always small like i was always the big guy from the top and like skinny legs but since i've been doing this i noticed my legs grow like almost twice the size why is that i'm just doing cold plunges right so why would my legs grow one of the many benefits of doing cold therapy is regeneration so i was able to absolutely annihilate my legs in the gym and recover quickly 
thanks to it. I also noticed when I'm talking to anybody, like I was just talking to this guy right here like two hours ago. And I was speaking to him about this place, why it's like this, how it was built, blah blah. All important right now. But I noticed myself like getting really deep into the flow state while talking to him. That didn't happen to me that often, but one, since I've been doing this, it happens every single time, bro. Now imagine what that's gonna do when you talk to a woman you like. She's gonna melt, bro. And I'm not saying this in a manipulative way, because it's never right to manipulate people. Or even actually in the gym, when I'm pushing the way that I'm trying to go to failure. I'm so able to do that now. It actually feels good now, because I trained my brain to push even when I don't want to, because when you are immersed in that cold water, there is a point when your mind goes, let's get out, this is uncomfortable. But you say to your brain, now nah, let me stay for two more minutes. Boom, train your brain so hard, bro. I've been taking cold plunges actively only about two weeks, and I see so much results. But cold showers I've been doing for two plus years, and occasionally like an ice bath here and there. But when I really get consistent with it, I see so many results. So how do you actually do this shit? First, I would recommend you to start with a cold shower. That's how I start, that's how everybody around me started. You're first gonna experience what I call the shock. Factor. That's when you're gonna jump into the cold and you're gonna experience that like heavy breathing, fast paced breathing. You need to control that. Try to breathe slower. Because about cold plunges and cold showers, it's all about breathing. If you can control your breath slow and deep, you're gonna be fine. There's nothing that can happen to you. When you will get good at this, this is what I do. Every single Sunday, I gather up with my boys and we decide where we're gonna go. Here in Slovakia, especially in the region where I live, we got like dozens of lakes, natural lakes around us. So we gather up and we speak about, okay, let's go to this lake now because we've never been there before. We get into our cars and we go like six, seven of us. We do a little like warming up before we go in. It's nice and masculine vibes. Then we go in. We laugh, we joke, we push ourselves, and it's really like a masculine experience, plus the benefit of a cold plunge. So every Sunday, me and my brothers, we go take a cold plunge in a natural body of water. If you have like a bathtub, that's fine. But do this thing every single week, and I guarantee you, you will see so much growth in your mentality, in your productivity, in your gym work, whatever it is. You will see what I'm talking about, bro. All right, my brother, number two is a weekly hike. I already told you about this. I went on two hikes with my brothers already, and those were one of the biggest and best moments of my summer this year. I don't know, you may call it gay, but I call it masculinity. When me and my brothers go hike a mountain, there's something about it. It's all masculine, we push ourselves. One guy can't go, but we push him because you don't wanna leave him behind, and he gets like motivated to go. Man, it's such a fucking spectacular moment. And then when you get to the top of the mountain, you see the hard work you've put in. It's such a great thing to do every single week that I would actually classify this to be one of the best things you can do for your mind and for your body. But if going for a hike is too much for you, I would recommend simply going for a long walk, either by yourself, your friends, your girlfriend, your mother, whoever, or alone, doesn't matter, bro. The point of this is to just spend some time outdoors. And since I've covered this before, I'm gonna go over the next one right now. Numero tres, mi amigo, is a weekly date. Now, I know some of you are scared of talking to girls, which I don't really understand. You should be a man about it. Don't be a little bitch. But if you are scared of talking to girls, I have some guides on YouTube. You can click here and go watch some of that if you don't know how to talk to girls. But bro, we as men, we need masculine and feminine energy around us. So you can go online and you can find people say that, oh, you just grind, you don't talk to girls when you are young, in your 20s. You just focus on yourself, your goals. And that is true, but you can go overboard with it very quickly. And the truth is, when a masculine man has feminine energy around him, it pushes him into different levels, different dimensions. You will actually even perform better in your grind, in your work. So I don't see why you should listen to these guys, honestly. They are full of shit. 
I would recommend you to go one date a week. That's such a sweet spot, bro. I think we should actually be around women, not avoid them. If you avoid women, there is something fundamentally wrong with you as a man. Okay, numero cuatro, one of my favorites is no phone Saturday. What I do every Saturday or every week, one day of the week, I turn off my phone completely, I put it in the closet and I don't touch it at all. This is one of those amazing things you can do because the truth is we've been consumed by social media so much that we think that life is just on social media, that there's nothing we can do outside of like Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, whatever. Because when we are bored, we automatically just open YouTube, Instagram, we scroll and we watch some videos. We can't even eat, bro. Did you realize that? We, you can't even eat a meal unless you play a video on YouTube. I'm, <laughs> I'm guilty of this. Just a few days ago, bro, I was eating my chicken. And there goes my camera. <laughs> it died. <laughs> died on me, bro. I was just eating my chicken with rice and I was like, oh, automatically I put my phone there, I played a video and then I caught myself. Whoa, what am I doing? And I realized, bro, like, we are so conditioned to do this by ourselves, by our phones. There came a place in time when I realized like when I put my phone away for a few days, for a week, I don't need it. I'm fine without it. And you will not realize this unless you actually put it away because you can't really imagine a life without it. And I promise you bro, it's so much better. I'm not saying that you have to like go monk mode and don't use technology at all, but at least have one day of the week or one day of the month when you say stop and you put it away and you enjoy your life and be just by yourself with your friends with no technology. It's such a magic experience. Actually, there was one time I was guarding a place. It was last year in August in summer and I was in a place where I was just by myself in the middle of forest but with some machines and I was guarding that place overnight for like 48 hours once. And I promised to myself, I'm not gonna use my phone when I'm here. Bro, I can recall that 48 hours so vividly that I don't think I can re recall anything in my life so vividly. And that's because of the lack of technology. I can go into lengths by saying that I consider that to be one of the best times of my life. And just, it was me, Forrest, nothing. Just books. I was reading books there. That's all I did. And I was going for walks around that place. I'm gonna put some videos up how it looked so you have an idea. Mi amigo. Numero cinco, number five, is a social day. On this day, bro, I like to just go and do something with my friends, with my brothers, with my girlfriends. That's a day for being social because we are social creatures. You've heard that before, but nobody, you know, like creates a day for this to actually be social and be in your natural habitat. Nobody does this. Nobody allows the human brain to be itself. It's usually nice to do this on the weekend because nobody is working, nobody's going to school and it's really nice and wholesome, <laughs> if you want to call it like that. And what you can do is you can explore new sports, new places, new cities, whatever. You can go swimming, bowling, you can go for walks, whatever you want to do. But a social day, the idea is you just be social. Number six, something my, many of you have been expecting or anticipating, and that's a grind day. A grind day is something when you do something extremely difficult, especially compared to your typical activity. This is a day when you really push yourself, either physically, mentally, or spiritually. This is the David Goggins masculine shit. The thing is, for us men, it's very nice to push our limits because Remember, we men, we grow through challenge. And if you challenge yourself every single week, or even every single day if you want, you will grow. The more comfort you have in your life, the more trouble you're gonna experience. It's actually so dark right now, can you see me? We have to finish, bro, so who cares? There is some light shining still, so. I'm gonna tell you a quick story here. 
a few weeks ago, I decided I'm going to start running. And the first run I did with my friend was 10 kilometers. For someone who doesn't run and never been a runner, that's crazy. Because I remember in school, I couldn't even run two kilometers in 12 minutes. That's pathetic, bro. But I decided, okay, let me challenge myself because I've been building my mentality in the gym and outside of the gym while working with women. So I decided, okay, let's put it to the test. See if I can push myself to run 10K. For you Americans, there's going to be like a mile converted, sure, whatever. <laughs> I'm going to convert this for you. So you don't have to Google what 10 kilometers is. And I remember during that run, it was, by the way, the first run of my life. Halfway through, I had this really runner's high, if I want to call it like that. I felt so good. I've never felt that good while doing something harder, bro. And that's because we grow through challenge. Number seven, my friend, is a God day. This is a day you dedicate to God. If you don't believe in God, skip this part to this time. This is very important for those who do. Usually we don't take a full day to appreciate and be grateful for your life and for God. And this is the chance for you to really embrace it and actually get closer to God. I've been reading a book about God. I'm not gonna tell you the name yet. It's such a great book and Honestly, anybody who has doubts about the existence of God or his life should read that book. But if you're really interested, comment down below or DM me on Instagram. I'm going to tell you what book that is. It's one of those bangers. When you read it, you get captivated. But the thing is, I realized I should be more godly. I should put more time into God because if you don't, your life will not be great. Personally, I don't think you should go and do degenerate shit once a week, every Friday, go to clubs, f some girl you don't even know. I don't think this is something you should do as a young man or even as a man. Maybe if you like want to experience what it's like, fine, go ahead. I still would not do that. Instead, I would turn to God on this day. If I was you, how I would do it is, I would simply spend more time praying, more time meditating. I would spend more time in nature. I would spend more time in silence. And basically, I would be grateful for my life on that day. And if you want to go even one step further, you can even fast the whole day. It's gonna do wonders for your mind and for your body also. And I'm also new to God and religion. So I think you can definitely like correct me about something in the comments. Feel free to do that. I'm gonna read all of your comments. Number eight. This is gonna be one of your favorites, my friend. It's travel day. On this day, you and your brothers pack a bag with money, food, water, and you go into a country, city you've never been to. You can even make this like a few days trip. It's so nice, bro. There's been a week of my life when I visited Switzerland. That place is magical. I've been there with my girlfriend at the time and we were going for a walk one night. In Switzerland, all the houses in the village are built from stone and wood. Like the base of the house is from stone, the foundation, and all of the rest of the house is just wood, even the roof. Bro, imagine that. Many houses like that around you on a like, nice pavement walk. Hills, like mountains around you, green grass. And it was a part of the year when it started snowing. So the green grass was getting covered with snow and all these nice sounds were playing in the background. I was walking with her, I was holding her hand, I was looking at her, she was smiling at me back. And I was telling her like, this is such a magical experience. And then I was interrupted by a horse. Ahead of us, like 20 meters ahead of us, there was a horse. You have seen like the old school car, they call it like that, where a horse was pulling like a nice cabin or something like that. Don't know how it's called in English. That's what was there, bro. Snow, darkness, mountains, wooden houses. It was so beautiful, bro. But the thing is, I would not be experiencing that if I didn't create a habit. And that's a weekly habit of 
traveling. I used to shit on my friend for traveling because I thought it's like a waste of time, but it's not if you don't overdo it. I cannot end the video without a bonus and that bonus is family day. It's so important to spend time with your loved ones because if you don't, you're not gonna enjoy it while they are there. You're gonna regret that later. I don't think I need to say more about that, bro. Go spend time with your mother, your father, if they're still here. Even your sisters, brothers, your uncle. But be really careful around him, bro. Your uncles are wild. <laughs> Alright, my friend. I'm gonna be reopening the new 1% very soon, so if you're interested, click the first link in the description. If you like this video, click the subscribe button, like this video, and if you have any ideas about weekly habits you can do, and other boys can also do, put that in the comments. I'm gonna see you in another banger, my friend. Bah!